Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how we can create our own images to implement it for our advertisement and it's going to be a really really simple tutorial so the first thing I want to do, of course, is to actually um, look for the platform that I want to work with in my case I just want to focus into Canva because Canva for instance is totally for free and I don't have to do like a lot of stuff here so once uh, I'm here I want to look for a specific stock images but as you can see I have like myself image here I want to look like for a phone number uh, a phone like I, I want to see some ideas emerging from the phone so I can just look for a phone and I can just like have some graphic here images I can actually to I copy this one, I'm going to duplicate this, so I'm going to delete this, and you can start to implement to create your own ideas in here. So I can have like a phone here, I can look for example, like I don't know, maybe some magic hall, uh, rainbow, like that. So um, I can do this, and it's going to be a, a, a lot harder, of course, it's going to be really, really hard to do. This is one way to implement your own images, but in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this not by using Canva or all the application, we're actually going to be asking the artificial intelligence to create that for us. So, for that particular tutorial, I'm going to be using Medjourney. Medjourney is an amazing place. This is a server that works inside Discord. So, in order to get started here, what do you, do you want to do is to have a Discord account. So, uh, once you hit into the Discord, what you want to do is to, of course, uh, hit into this code, you want to enable this, you want to leave that open. And once you do have that open, what you want to do, of course, is to go back into Midjourney, select the option that says join the beta mode. You just need to authorize that inside your test code and you're actually good to go. These are a few images that were not generated by me, this actually were generated by something, by someone else. But as you can see, this one actually looks really, really great. I mean, like, if you're getting started here into um, into Medjourney, there's a lot of stuff here that you can implement. This are a few stuff that people are creating as they are working in here. So as you can see, they have logos. They have uh, Neo in Matrix with different uh, ways and concept outs. They do have creating wallpaper, minimalistic, like this. And like this so I want to use this tools as actual like a way that I can just implement that into my advertisement so for example here what I do want to do is to create a new server here to create my own and then I want to go back into Medjourney look for newbies I want to look for rooms that says newbies inside here look for the member list look for the Medjourney bot and add this into your server by hitting into add to server. Once you are in here, you can start to implement and create your own ideas like I just did in here. So if I want to ask the computer to do something like I just did here, like this is just really basic. Let's say here into this code, I can just start by typing fast forward slash hit into imagine. And here is the prompt. So here into the prompt, you want to tell the computer what you are looking for. I want to, let's say, um, to implement ideas like a unicorn uh, emerging from a phone number from a phone. Let's see what the computer has to do for us. If you make like a really general idea, the computer is going to be doing like whatever it th they want it to. So you want to be a little bit more specific than that. So speaking about a unicorn merging from a phone device, I'm not pretty sure what's going to be happening here. You want to, of course, tell them about the aspect. You want to tell about the perspective. You want to tell about the characters. And of course, you want to tell about all the elements that, want to, that you want to have into your image. So you might want you might want to write this down. So I'm going to hit into my four variants here, and as you can see, I have a few ideas that were generated by the computer. I think like the most accurate one can be the second option. So what I want to do is to upscale the second image. You can choose U by upscale, 
upscale image number one, number two, three, and four. I'm going to upscale the number two. Or if you want to see more variations of it, of in a specific image, you have the B options. B stands for variations. You may want to ask for variation of the first image, of the second image, the third one, or the latest one. Now, down in here, as you can see, we do have a Jav from Midjourney. So what's that guy, what they're doing is to upscale the image number two. This is just what I asked for. So if I am making an advertisement, like for example, look for magic into your computer, into your phone device. Here I want to look, let's say for example, I'm gonna choose this option. Um, the magic has arrived, like that. And with our work, I want to just leave it like that. I don't want to focus a lot into the content. I just want to focus into the image for our advertisement. So I want to delete this crappy idea. <laughs> I'm actually going to just duplicate it so we can compare that later. I'm going to delete, delete this. I'm going to go back into my journey and see if the work has been successfully done. So I'm going to get into the aspect perspective, characters and elements. I'm going to delete this because I don't need this. And I'm going to just wait a couple of seconds more. And there we go. This is something that was generated by the computer. As you can see, it's looking amazing. It's looking really, really great. So what I want to do is to save my image. I want to hit into save. I'm going to go back into Canva. And I'm going to move that into my design that I just created into, into Canva. So I'm going to hit into upload. I'm going to select the image that I just generated. I'm going to hit into open. I'm going to click enter and I'm just going to upscale this like this. So I think that I kind of don't need this. I'm going to move this to the front. And what I want to do, of course, is just to leave it like this. And here I want to change the background. If you don't want to change the background, of course, I can do that. I'm going to choose this option. And here it is. So uh, this is just an idea. I mean, and here as you can see the magic has arrived. I'm going to bring that into the front. And this is how we can use Metzioni to create our images. I don't have to look for uh, stock images. I don't have to look for, I don't have to look for anything. I just ask the computer to do something for me. And this was created by and for me. I don't have to even hire someone to do this. I mean, it was really, really great to do this. So uh, I think like with that information, with that uh, stuff, I'm good to go. And I'm ready to add my ads here and to start my ads into Instagram or whatever social media that you wanted to. So with that being said, uh, we are now ready to go, guys. Hopefully this was a very useful video to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to see more great tools about this great Met journey. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I will see you on the next one. I'll see you soon.